whatever. We're just having a conversation. So, oh yeah, one, one thing I wanted to mention for, for Saras. Uh, decorators stopped working in Babel 6, and if you want to fix them, use this. Yep. Right? The legacy thing, they like, just recently built it. it. I was waiting for weeks to, uh, for this thing to come out. It's very, very useful. If anyone's using decorators in their old code with Babel 5 and you have been stuck because of that, now you can upgrade with this thing here. It's really nice. Anyway, so, hi, I'm Sebastian. Um, I do some stuff, and uh, I try to solve all my problems with JavaScript. <laughs> okay, so I had this problem once upon a time that I didn't have a motorcycle. So I got a job, wrote some code, got paid, quit the job, bought a motorcycle, problem solved, JavaScript, thank you. Um, so then, like, as, as everyone knows, she's got Duchess, and I ride around all the time, sometimes crash, uh, and have just generally a lot of fun. Um, but there was a problem, right? When I'm riding around, it's like really loud and stuff. So I wear these like, little earplugs, and then you can't like hear the engine anymore, so you get bored. So I, uh, you know, I bought this helmet, and uh, with the helmet, you know, it's all like sealed off and whatnot. So I thought, hey, can I get like some music up in here, right? So I bought this thing, and this is like pretty cheap stuff. This is like fifty dollars, a hundred dollars, something like that. And it comes with Bluetooth, so you connect it up to any device, right? And I was thinking, like, okay, this is cool, and I can use like Siri and like talk to it, but Siri is kind of not very, very good. And I was like, JavaScript should solve this, right? <laughs> so, so, there, so, so I was like, okay, what can we do with JavaScript? Well, it, so it turns out there's this web speech API. So if I'm riding around and I've got Bluetooth in my helmet, I've got my phone in my pocket, shouldn't I be able to Bluetooth to the web speech API and like? talk to my phone instead of talk to Siri, use my own you know, artificial intelligence or something. So that's not what I did, but I did use the web speech API. <laughs> I'm not quite there yet. Turns out I have the wrong phone. I have like this uh, Apple iPhone thing, and it's bad because it doesn't really support this stuff. Firefox OS. Yes, Firefox OS, actually, or Android, that's also fine, you know. But Firefox OS is cool. What, what if you install Chrome on your iPhone? Yeah, it's fake. Yeah, it's fake. It's Mickey Mouse. Yeah. So, so, so it turns out there's there's two things in in the Web Speech API. There's there's speech recognition and there's speech synthesis. And if you go to Can I Use, it'll tell you, yeah, hey, it's totally supported. Turns out only half of it is really supported. So the speech synthesis is supported. So you can like, you know, type like, do text to speech, but you can't do speech to text, right? It won't recognize it and turn it into text that I would want to do. Um, so on, on iOS, you can do that, but on Chrome, on Android, you can do both. So I was like, okay, well, at least I can play with that. So I was sitting at my computer and um, coding something up uh, a few months ago, and I'm, I'm, I haven't yet got into, onto an Android phone because you know, I haven't been able to buy a phone yet. Uh, I need to get another job and then get paid for that. <laughs> and then quit and then buy a phone. Um, so that's how it works, right? Um, so basically, I, I, I built a little demo here called Hands Free. Because the goal is that I can control any web app um, through JavaScript from voice recognition, right? So I want to be able to just talk and control the web app. And if I'm building a normal, and it should work with any web app. So it should work with the normal navigation controls like links and buttons. That's sort of the basic stuff that I want to do. So I've, I've got this repository, and you know you can go and clone it. And then once you've cloned it, you can, oh, if you're using a new client like me, forget, then uh, open up in terminal. Right, totally epic. So you can run some tests and see that you know probably still works. Ah, I don't know. Ah, here we go. Come on, come on to the computer. Yes, okay, it works. Fantastic. <laughs> App exists. All right. It's, so, all right. My 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 tests are mostly linting. So I'm running standard and I'm linting my CSS. That's it. So it's a, uh, yeah, yeah, okay. Damn you, man, damn you. <laughs> Give it away. <laughs> okay, so, um, so how does this work, right? So let me check the readme, and uh, there's a bunch of crap in there. So if you run npm start, there's a bunch of stuff, but it, it says wow here, so I'll run that. So this is, if you run it in dev mode, uh, I spin it up at HTTPS. The reason actually, uh, if you run it without HTTPS, then, um, the browser has this permissions thing with the Web Speech API, and it'll ask you every time you want to invoke the speech uh, listening thing, right? So, like, is listening in the, the microphone? 
and you'll have to like give it permission every 30 seconds because it keeps like breaking the connection and I have to instantiate a new one. So like whenever I listen, I start listening, I have to create like a whole new connection and you ask for permissions over and over and over if you're on HTTP. Whereas if you're on HTTPS, you click that once and it sort of remembers it forever uh, or for the whole day or something like that or the entire session. So that's really, really nice. So I've, got, I've included a little command if you want to generate like a self-signed certificate and spin up a local server with uh, HTTPS. So it's really simple to use. Um, and this is just obviously like a really ugly default prototype thing. Um, and what you can do is you can, you can start voice control by clicking this little button here. And this doesn't work in Safari, like I said. Okay, never mind. Demo fail. <laughs> so in Chrome, however, yeah, 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 it's a self-signed certificate, right? Until I get the, you know, the Acme thing working. Hey, where'd you go? Ah. So you oh, I said. Just import this yeah, yeah, sorry. For permanent or, or your own uh, root certificate to your browser. Excuse me, I'm on a root. You don't need to have your certificate applied. You just need to import your own root certificate to the browser of your time. Okay. Pull request. Welcome. <laughs> Thank you, thank you. Uh, so start voice control. Now it start, starts listening and it doesn't ask me. Normally it asks you a little pop-up. You click, you click allow. Um, so obviously you can't just like randomly do this to any website, but you have to click like once and then it'll start recording. Um, so I should be able to control the buttons and the links because that's what I will use for my web application, right? I, I want to be able to listen for anything and um, Whenever I speak the element while I'm riding on my motorcycle, remember, uh, I'll be able to say like, you know, uh, what's the, hey Jarvis, or something like that, and then have a menu, and op open a little menu, because that's just really just a link, and it opens a little menu with other links that like start playing music or open a video on YouTube or something like that, All right? So you can imagine building a normal web app, but then using this in the background, just one little script file that you drop in and you, you start it, and it just starts controlling your web app just by clicking around, All right? And it's just like a normal single page app then. So if I say, hello, it probably won't work. It's like I have to stop and start it probably. Because it's recording the whole time, so it only cuts out like once in a while. So you got to, it still needs a little work, but, but okay. Hello? Success. <laughs> so hands free, okay? All right, thanks. So, okay, so that's one problem I'm solving with the WebSpeech API. And I wanted to show one more real quick. Um, so as some of you may have heard, I, I kind of like teach a class now. Um, and in doing so, I lost my voice because I was like speaking a lot, not drinking enough water, and it happens apparently. So for about a week, I, I, was, I was, you know, I couldn't really speak much and couldn't say much. So after inviting all my friends over, like from most of the crowd here, uh, to sort of like come and talk instead of me, and, and running out of like cool videos to show during the class, uh, I sort of said, okay, why don't we uh, take the second part of the speech API, which is the speech synthesis, right? And maybe JavaScript can talk for me. So it was just a small little uh, hack that I did, uh, this uh, little code pen. Uh, and I'm using the speech synthesis and speech synthesis utterance objects, right, which are uh, supported by Safari as well. So now this works in both Chrome and Safari. And a little bit of code, uh, I was able to put together a thing that just says like, Hello, class. All right, cool. So. This is pretty sweet. Right, et cetera, et cetera. So the nice thing is like, not only does it record my voice, it also creates a log, and I can just copy paste that into notes or in a chat room or something like that. So this was just a little fun demo that I did with JavaScript. Um, and I think the speech synthesis API is uh, really powerful uh, for a lot of users um, that have like accessibility issues. And you can create like your own uh, tools now to, to, instead of just relying on these ancient screen readers, we can use this instead, with, you know, build, build browser extensions that, um, that, that use this. I think the speech uh, recognition API is also going to be really cool. Uh, and I, I know I'm kind of like hoping to have access to an Android phone someday uh, to be able to like build something for my phone, uh, for my helmet. And I'll, I'll definitely try to record that. Maybe do a, can we do like a Skype call in? That'll be, that'll be, that'll be interesting. Probably die. Okay. All right. So that's what JavaScript does for me. Thank you. Justin Reed.